Welcome to another episode of Sprocket and Claw. Today, we're going to load the film magazine on the Airy 2C. As always, when you're working with film that isn't in a Super 8 cartridge or a 16 millimeter daylight spool, you'll need to work in complete darkness. So when working on set or anywhere where you don't have a completely dark room, you're gonna to wanna to pick up a film bag like this Harrison film bag. Um, this allows you to load and unload magazines wherever you may be. The Airy 2C has a couple of different magazines. There's a 200 foot magazine and a 400 foot magazine. Uh, today we're gonna to be loading the 400 foot mag. We have, uh, I don't know, a bit of dummy film that is not exposed, but it's, it's just a test roll for us to test magazines and, and a scratch test. To open the door, there's this little metal flap that you have to depress and turn the latch counterclockwise, and then you can open the mag door. Set the mag door on the table with the outside down on the table so you don't get the inside dirty. We're then going to take a brush and make sure that we kind of knock all of the dust loose in here. And this may be controversial to some people, but I use compressed air. Make sure all the moisture's out of it. And just give it a spritz. And we're gonna do the exact same thing to our lid as well, our cover. Just kind of knock all the dust loose. Knock it out. So inside the mag, we've got your feed side and your take up side. So we'll put the brand new roll of film, and in this case, just a dummy roll, on the feed side. We're gonna feed it down through here, and then it'll come back in forming a loop and take up on the take up side. Over on the take up side, we have a collapsible core. These are really great. You just feed the end of the film into there, and then you'll pinch it with this lever there and it holds onto the film nice and tight. So you'll see the notch right here in the film core. It actually aligns with this little notch on here. And if you get it on there and it's not aligned, you can just kind of spin it around until you hear it click. Once the film is secure, we're gonna thread the end of the film into this slot right here, which will allow us to pull the film out to start forming our loop. So we'll start to feed this through, and what you'll see is the film will come out over here. And we will, the beautiful thing about this magazine and, and most film camera magazines is that you'll see this, no, this notch right here. It's raised. And when you're in complete darkness, this allows you to feel your way around how far you need to pull your film out. So we will pull the film right to this raised position, and then this will be the size of our loop. Once we've got the proper film loop size, we will feed the film in through here. And you can also use the gear to work it through. It'll come out on the take-up side where we're going to feed it into our collapsible core. Once we have the loop created and we've threaded it back through, we will place the end of the film into the collapsible core. Make sure that you've taken as much tension up as you can, and then we're gonna close the core. One of the safety features on the 2C mags is that this, this lever right here is the footage counter for the outside of the mag, and it needs to be placed up against the feed side. So you'll lift up on it, move it over, and it'll set nicely right on your film. All right, so these two recessed slots on the bottom of the magazine line up with these two hooks on the inside of the door. And hopefully I don't struggle. This is a funny angle. There we go. You'll just lock the door and you're good to go. All of that work that we just did would be done in, in total darkness, in a film bag or a completely dark room. Um, now, that, now that we've got the door back on, we can take it out of the film bag and we're gonna go ahead and tape up the door. So we have the standard tape colors. We have red for tungsten, blue for daylight, black for exposed. Today, we threw a dummy roll in, we're gonna call it 500T. All right, so we'll start here by the loop and just work our way all the way around. Get 
did I get enough negative? That's all right. And this last little bit. As always, you definitely want to throw a piece of tape over the latch. Don't touch. Then Ari has been nice enough to put this nice big open space for us to mark our magazine. When you're actually on set, you're gonna have uh, film mag labels that you'll put on here that has a bunch of information on it. And then when you unload the film from the magazine, you're gonna put it back in the can and you're gonna stick that label onto the can. We've got the mag all taped up and now we're ready to thread the loop into the camera. What I like to do is turn the film sideways and kind of squeeze it together and thread it down in there. You wanna make sure that your magazine is nice and flat like so. And then you lock, you push this knob in and you lock and now the mag is set in place. Again, we're at a little bit of a funny angle so it's tough to show this, but there's this little lever right here that opens up the pressure plate. The pressure plate puts pressure on your film and pushes it against the gate. So here we wanna pull the film out of the way, open the pressure plate all the way up and put your film down in this little channel right here. So you can see up there in that little recessed channel that there is a line and that's where you're gonna push your film back up to. You just have to stick your finger back in there and just push it up ever so slightly and get it to match right there. And then we're gonna work on getting the pin into the perf. So right here is your claw that moves into the sprocket, pulls down, and it's really the lifeblood of this camera. This is what makes the film move in the movement. This is what gives it that 24 frames per second. It's very precise. And what you need to do is make sure that you're living in one of these sprockets, one of these perfs right here, and make sure that your loop is correct. So you have your the, the correct amount up here, the correct amount down here, and it will drag on this bottom floor a little bit. It's designed to do that. So once you have the, the claw in a sprocket, you will be able to advance the camera, like so. You'll be able to shut the pressure plate. And your film is running smoothly through the gate. I just wanna show you how you advance the camera without running the motor. So when you were watching the pin move the film through the gate, I was rotating this knurled knob right here, which this just allows you to advance the camera very slowly by hand while you're getting it threaded. Now all that's left to do is put the door back on. Throw the door back on, and then you have a lock right on the bottom, and you're ready to shoot. Once again, thanks to Neil from Kansas Grip for hooking us up with all the light and grip. If you have any questions or any content that you'd like us to cover, make sure that you put it in the comments section down below, and we'll see you next time.